Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a quick warm-up flow just to mobilize and lengthen the whole body. Let's get started in child's pose. So knees wide, big toes touch. Stretch the arms straight out in front of you and send the sit bones towards your heels. Three rounds of breath here. As you inhale through your nose, send the breath all throughout your body. Breathing towards the back of your body. So not just through the chest, but through the whole body, back body, side body, all over. Really lengthen the arms, lengthen the spine. Now take your hands to the edges of the mat and hold your mat here. Now actually pick up your mat and have the fingertips come underneath your mat here. Now I want you to push the mat forward. When you push the mat forward, your sit bones automatically go back. So you create this traction and this traction is here to help us really lengthen the spine. You might even feel the shoulder blades start to work. Spine is long, arms are straight, breathing deeply here. Okay, now let go of the mat, hands back to normal. Take your left hand under the right arm for a twist. Left ear to the mat if you can. Now from here, come onto your right fingertips and walk the right fingertips over towards your left. Spin the chest open, turn and twist. Come back to center, child's pose. And switch, right hand comes under the left arm, right ear to the mat, and then crawl the left fingertips towards the right side. Breathing deeply, turn and twist. Come back to center, child's pose. Slowly come up, pushing back, downward dog. Full stretch, you can take this time to walk up the legs, stretch the body long. And remember the traction that we did just now? Think about the mat pushing forward to really lengthen the spine. Come forward into your plank pose, hold your plank. Bend your knees, push back, downward dog. So we're just shifting through downward dog and plank. Come forward, plank. Bend your knees, shift back, downward dog. Four more here, come forward, plank. Bend the knees, downward dog. Plank. Exhale, downward dog. Two more plank pose. Bend the knees, downward dog. One more plank. Hold your plank. Bend your knees, shift back, downward dog. From here, take the right leg up towards the ceiling, bend the knee, open the hip. Now close the hip, send the knee to your forehead, round in. Step the right foot outside the right hand, lizard lunge. Sink the hips low. You can take this time to rock forwards, rock backwards. Take the left knee to the floor, pick up the left toe so the right hand catches the heel and send the heel closer towards your hips. Slowly release, hands to the floor. Right leg straight, half splits. So the right foot is outside the hands. Think about sending the sit bones back. Fingertips walk forward. Come back to center, hands to the floor. Step back, downward dog. Left leg comes up towards the ceiling, bend the knee, open the hip. Good, stretch the body long. Breathing deeply. Now close the knee, knee to forehead, round in. So push the upper back up towards the ceiling. Good, now step the left foot outside the left hand. Lizard lunge, you can rock back and forth, front and back. 
Now right knee to the floor, pick up the right toes, swing back and catch. So you want to draw the heel closer towards your hips. Good release, hands to the floor, shift your hips back, half splits. So as the sit bones reach back, can you crawl the fingertips forward as much as you can? Come back to center, hands to the floor. Step back, downward dog. From here, now lift your feet, lift your heels off the floor, bend your knees, and send your sit bones up towards the ceiling. So for this one, we target the upper back a little bit more. Breathing deeply here. Now legs straight, heels to the floor, downward dog. Now step your left foot outside the left hand, right foot outside the right hand into a squat. So your hands are inside your knees, hands to heart center. Push the knees out, chest comes forward. Okay, you can either stay here or we're going to go on to part two. So part two for this pose, you're going to bring your heels together as much as you can. Your, knee, your hands are still inside your knees and you're going to reach the arms forward. If you're here and if this is okay for you, take your right hand behind your heel, behind your um, leg, and then the left hand will come and catch the, come and catch the wrist. So we're turning and twisting in this bind. Slowly release back to your stretch. Now the left hand comes behind the back, behind the leg, palm faces up, right hand swings back and catch. Turn the chest towards the right. Good, slowly release, arms straight. You can always stay in your squat if it's better for you that way. Now from here, both hands. So left hand comes behind your leg, right hand comes behind your leg. You're behind the ankles, interlace the fingers, round the back, forehead towards the floor. Place your hands on the floor, stepping back, downward dog. Take your knees to the floor, sitting on your heels. Interlace the fingers, push the palms forward, Take the arms over your head. Full stretch here. Now swing the right arm underneath your left, cross and twist. Elbows high, top shoulders come down. Release, both arms up. Left arm underneath the right, cross and twist. Elbows come up. Good, exhale, release, both arms up. And both arms down. And that is it for today. Thank you for joining me on the mat.